Hello and welcome to the fourth video in our one gauge video series. Today we're going to be detailing OBD2 setups. So in the past we've talked about how to get um, standard sensors wired up to your one gauge hub. So if you just want a very simple setup for a carbureted vehicle or a vehicle made before 1996, um, this is the way to go. However, if you have the option for OBD2 connections, so if you have a newer vehicle, then OBD2 may offer an easy way for you to have what is essentially a plug and play setup for most of your gauges. So OBD2 is um, a system that was created to monitor emissions back in the mid 90s. So in the United States, OBD2 was implemented on all vehicles made in 1996 and later. Now there was a big change in the early 2000s between 2005 and 2008 where the OBD2 setup was upgraded and it communicates, mu communicates much more quickly. So that transition happens between 2005 and 2008 and all vehicles made in 2008 or after have the faster communication setup. So um, what that means is if you have a vehicle made between 1996 and about 2006 to 8, then you would use a wireless OBD2 setup from one gauge. The wireless setups unfortunately communicate more slowly because of the older technology in the vehicle. Um, we're working on different solutions for that, but for now, the best solution that we have is a wireless module that plugs into your OBD2 port. This is going to provide your basic readings, but we don't recommend it for things like RPM because you're going to see some lag in the RPM reading. So the way to work around that is just to run an RPM wire into the one gauge hub as described in the other vehicles and that will get, sorry, in the other videos, and that will give you um, an RPM reading that updates much more quickly because it comes straight from your engine computer. Um, typically, and this, this is for both um, wired and wireless systems, the main gauges that OBD2 provides are gonna be RPM, it's going to provide um, boost and or vacuum, basically a MAP reading. Um, it's going, it can provide a mass airflow or MAF reading, um, intake temperature, coolant temperature, um, and then there's some fuel trim uh, readings that are there as well that could be used to give you a basic AFR calculation, though um, that is not what they're intended for. It's, it would just be to give you an idea of um, the current AFR reading of the engine. So uh, those are the basic gauges. You'll notice that there are a few that are left out. Things like fuel level um, the, and oil pressure are big ones that people ask about often. Um, oil pressure, fuel level, other readings like that are not standard OBD2 readings. That means every manufacturer uses different codes. It can vary by vehicle. It can vary by ECU in the vehicle. Um, and so that's not something that we typically provide. What you would do instead is you would wire up a, a sensor just like you would with um, just a standard sensor that would plug into your engine. So um, that of course allows you to add basically as many other gauges as you want and have your main gauges be plug and play with OBD2. Now, as I said earlier, um, the older vehicles with OBD2 use the wireless system, but if you've got a CAN bus enabled OBD2 setup, so that's all vehicles made after 2008 and many 2005 to 2007 vehicles as well, um, that's an extremely fast um, communication speed. So there's no worries about RPM lag or anything like that you're gonna be able to have that update quickly as well. Um, it also op opens up options for things like a speedometer reading to come through your OBD2 setup because of the speed. So um, we highly recommend OBD2 for any vehicle that you wanna install in that has that capability. Um, but if you don't have that capability, um, OBD2 may or may not be the, the best solution if your vehicle was made between 96 and 2008. Um, as always, we are happy to answer questions about this. OBD2 can get um, a little complicated. It can be confusing. So um, feel free to email us, tell us about your vehicle, tell us especially what year and if you still have the stock engine, and we can make some uh, recommendations for your setup based off of what you're looking to have working on your screen. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll have a ton more videos linked in the description below, as well as any other facts, information. There's a couple of links that I'm going to include that will allow you to figure out if you're in that 2005 to 2008 range, if you do have that faster CAN bus communication. So look in the, link the links in the description below. And uh, as always, reach out 
to us, info at theonegage.com. It's our email address, and we're happy to answer your questions. Thanks.